What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video. And today we're taking a look at another mechanical keyboard, but this one is a little bit unusual. That's because most mechanical keyboards are wired. Now, I went on a search, a hunt, looking for something that was wireless. You know me, I try to eliminate wires wherever I can. If you've seen pictures of my setup on Instagram, you should go check it out if you haven't. But if you've seen those pictures and you know I'm trying to eliminate all wires from the visual field, but I still want a quality mechanical key switch because those membrane keyboards are not quite as satisfying. So I did a little search. This is one of the keyboards that I found and what I like about it is not only is it wireless, it's also backlit and it's small. It doesn't take up too much space on your desk. And in my case, I don't use uh, the numerical keypad either. So maybe this one will be suitable. I know that the key switches are not the highest quality. They're not cherry MX blues or reds or browns. Hopefully this one is satisfying enough. And after all, it's wireless, which is very appealing to me. It uses Bluetooth technology. Uh, here on the back of the box, you can see those mechanical key switches that I talked about. It's also a very slim keyboard, which is appealing to the eyes. It has multimedia keys, uh, adjustable backlight. So let's go ahead, jump inside the box and see what this Rapu KX mechanical keyboard is all about. Open it on this side here. Oh, you may have seen my new multi-tool in that shot as well. The Leatherman Charge. I'll link it in the description. Get that part off. You guys know what that's about. Inside, fairly simplistic. We have the quick start guide. It's a keyboard, get with the times. And here it is, very slim for a mechanical keyboard. Damn, I gotta say, that's it inside the box? Oh, charge cable too. I gotta say, that's a pretty good look. You can see it has like this brushed aluminum on the sides. You have touch sensitive multimedia keys up on the top. And as I mentioned before, it's backlit. Now the question is, how do these key switches feel? Let me go ahead, unbox. Whoa, those are way different. Not sure I'm gonna be able to get used to that. So it's obviously very compact. And because of that, the key spacing seems to reflect that. Uh, which is the reason it's kind of a strange adjustment. They're very tight together. They are satisfying though. This keyboard does come in a couple of different colors as well. Uh, this one has the black keys with this uh, aluminum or brushed metallic look. You can also get it with white keys. And then there's some colorful options as well. There's a red version and I think there's a teal version. Also, I think there's a yellow version. So if you wanna get funky with it, on the bottom, you have some feet here. The receiver lives in the back of the unit. I guess that's where you store it. Yeah, a little storage area. And then you have an on off switch followed by a micro USB port for charging it. Now, obviously I'm not the most skilled typer in the world. I'm more of a, an editor as most of you know. Oh, there's a little plastic on the top here. And so, what I look for in a keyboard is a little bit different, I suppose, than somebody who's typing a lot of words. You know, I'm doing a lot of shortcuts and things like that, but I'm not typing letters to the president, at least not yet. As of right now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I feel like these keys are placed too tightly together for my meaty paws. All right, guys, so that wraps up this unboxing and overview of the Rapu KX wireless mechanical keyboard a rare breed of mechanical keyboard, but one of your few options in this space if that's what you're looking for. Uh, thanks as always for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next episode. Later guys.